hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in in this video series i will teach you how to do analysis in mc workbench so basically this video is all about brief introduction about these workbench interface right so basically and uh, these mc workbench is arranged into two primary areas right the toolbox and projects schematic the toolbox contains a system template that you can use to build a project these are the templates you can use to build a project these design assessment design these eigen value electric right and the project schematic is the area of the interface where you will manage your project these are the area where you manage your project basically you can drag your any template here and it will show here okay so now i will describe these toolbox parts uh, these an analysis systems component systems these uh, uh, custom systems and these design exploration and act what is this act okay and uh, so basically toolbox is the uh, presents the types of data that you can add to a project right and uh, it consists of these minus analysis system custom design and act so so analysis system you will typically use this core set of templates to build your project place these templates in the project like this fluid flow fluent so you will drag your templates here in the project schematic to create a system or link system with all the necessary components you can link your geometry from one system to another systems and these are cells 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the cells and the names are these geometry mesh set of solution results different for the different systems component systems i will close on this and component system this system templates are generally uh, used as component building blocks of a project and represent only a subset of complete analysis basically uh, these are used for uh, geometry something geometry make make any geometry in the ansys workbench something like if you want to build any geometry in this particular uh, workbench and you want to use this somewhere else so you can do also these things i want to say this uh, i mean to say that uh, these fluid flow uh, that there are two ways if you you can edit your geometry in design modeler or space claim or import geometry from any cad software you make the igs file in the format of igs or step or also you can also do one thing also here that you can first of all drag your geometry section in this project schematic window and you can also build your geometry from this tab okay and then you transfer your geometry from uh, this system to another system like this so it match with the mesh directly mesh means you do not need to require uh, build first of all uh, build any geometry then mesh then setup no you can also do one thing here that you can geometry you make geometry first and save as the uh, it's a file extension type particular type okay and then you can use geometry anywhere in the uh, next and future sections okay so now comes to the custom systems just i will close this one by click on this minus sign custom systems custom systems are basically a group uh, that contain a selected set of predefined couple systems predefined these are predefined okay you can also define your own template right in this section custom system and for the design exploration it is used to perform various design exploration studies when added to the project schematic okay something like uh, you can also uh, mm, you can also use these uh, under the various toolbox group will depend on which product you have installed okay so this system 
this system and this is system component system custom systems or design exploration it is different for uh, in different uh, uh, release of ansys my my uh, ansys version is 19.2 so it may be in different format but uh, the work is same the functionality of all the system will be same there is no any difference in this case right okay now comes down to this window project schematic so first of all i will drag one also here you can also rename this system by just double click on it and just uh, give your name on say just like a pipe flow so this particular uh, system got its name pipe flow okay so now so i think you already uh, I already explained uh, what this circle symbolize. Now I will explain uh, another symbol that is square and how it comes. If I want to share this data, engineering data into this system. So now it comes with the square symbol. It symbolizes the data shared by this A and B are the same. Means, but in the case of circle, that uh, there is a transfer of data means the uh, data is transferred from one system to another system there is complete transfer is. but in this case only data is shared there is no transfer of any data okay now this uh, seventh thing now i will delete this one by just uh, clicking on this static structure and left click then right click and this option delete okay now the system and cells are containing seven types one two three four five six seven and this engineering data engineering data means you can edit your material you can use any aluminium steel uh, available in the material library or import any uh, material different type of material for your uh, analysis purpose geometry means you can uh, you are import your geometry there is a geometry or else you can create your geometry in a design modeler or space claim i will further explain how to design geometry in design modeler or space claim so now it comes to the model model means you have to you can either say it as a mess also uh, we distribute and we create mess in here and uh, how should be the messing done it will be explaining the uh, future videos so please be subscribe my channel setup now setup means you have to give some load uh, right and uh, uh, apply the uh, many boundary condition in this particular cell solution means uh, iteration are done in this particular section or solution of the curves or convergence will be checked in this solution and results means finally the contours vector plots or the gradients pressure everything is seen in this particular cell so in this video we learned about this toolbox about this project schematic and right one thing i miss here that update project means every time when you uh, when you import any geometry or uh, there is a tick if you if you import any geometry and if it is shown correct then you there will be a uh, seen by a green tick here just like this if I import geometry and this I just file import and there's a tick okay right if I create mess here mess I will I will show you in further videos don't worry in the mess here then I have to update my project here means if I like there's a tick here there's a tick here if there's a tick here but then after some time I I edit my mess here in this I go there and just edit my mess here any change here just like changing the element size so i have to update my project in this project schematic tab okay any change will be in the setup i have to update the project in the final okay so these are the first window this is the first lecture uh, basically about the introduction of this ansic workbench window thank you 